हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड आउट पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल ऑफ द लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इफ इट्स आर एच एस इज ऑफ द टाइप ई रेस टू ए एक्स इन टू वी वेर वी इज फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स सो इट कुड बी अ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन इट कुड बी एन एक्सपोनशियल फंक्शन और इट कुड बी एन अल्जेब्राइक एक्सप्रेशन इन एक्स दिस इज द फोर्थ केस ऑन आर एच एस ऑफ द एल डी links of the videos of previous three cases are given in the description box so let us see the technique we know that particular integral of the linear differential equation f of dy is equal to x is given by yp is equal to 1 by f of d of x now if this x is of the type e raised to ax into v where v is a function of x then yp can be obtained as follows to solve this 1 by f of d of e raised to ax into v we first of all take out this e raised to ax and we replace every d in this f of d by d plus a so now yp will look like e raised to ax into 1 upon f of d plus a of v now we solve this 1 upon f of d plus a of v the way we solved earlier cases that is case number 1 2 and 3 that is when v is an exponential function or a trigonometric function or an algebraic expression in x let us understand this concept with the help of an example consider a differential equation d square minus 4d plus 1y is equal to e raised to 2x into sin 2x let us see how to find out particular integral for this differential equation here yp will be given by 1 upon f of d of this rhs that is e raised to 2x into sin 2x since this rhs is of the type e raised to ax into v where v is sin 2x and a is 2 we can solve this 1 upon f of d of e raised to ax into v by first taking out this e raised to 2x and replacing every d in f of d by d plus 2 as given in the following step so we took out this e raised to 2x and we replace every d in this f of d by d plus a that is d plus 2 here so we get d plus 2 whole square minus 4 times d plus 2 plus 1 of sin 2x let's simplify this denominator d plus 2 whole square is d square plus 4d plus 4 opening this bracket we get minus 4d minus 8 plus 1 of sin 2x more simplification will give us 1 upon d square minus 3 of sin 2x now to solve 1 upon d square minus 3 of sin 2x we simply replace this d square by minus a square here a is 2 so minus a square will be minus 4 and this minus 3 will contribute to minus 7 we take out that minus sign so finally yp is now given by minus e raised to 2x into 1 by 7 into sin 2x i hope you understood this technique so let's solve some real examples here in question 1 we are asked to find the particular integral of d square plus 2 y is equal to x square e raised to 3x so here yp will be given as 1 upon d square plus 2 of x square e raised to ax so to solve this we first take out e raised to 3x and we replace every d in this f of d by d plus 3 like this now we expand d plus 3 the whole square we get 1 upon d square plus 6d plus 9 plus 2 9 plus 2 is 11 now since this rhs is an algebraic expression in x we first write this f of d as 1 plus 5 of d or 1 minus 5 of d to do so we have to take out the least degree term from this f of d here it is 11 so taking out 11 we will get 1 upon 1 plus 6d plus d square upon 11 of x square now we take this term in the numerator 
सो नाउ इट लुक्स लाइक वन प्लस एक्स इनवर्स अ पावर सीरीज लेट एस कैरी फॉरवर्ड दिस टर्म ऑन माई नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नाउ वी एक्सपांड दिस पावर सीरीज वन प्लस एक्स इनवर्स इट इज वन माइनस एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स क्यूब एंड सो ऑन इट इज एन इनफाइनाइट सीरीज लेट एस सिंप्लीफाई दिस पार्ट दीज फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स विल रिमेन एज इट इज दिस इज लाइक ए प्लस बी द होल स्क्वायर सो इट्स एक्सपांशन विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर दैट इज थर्टी सिक्स डी स्क्वायर अपॉन वन ट्वेंटी वन प्लस टू ए बी सो इन टू ए बी वी सी हियर डिग्री ऑफ डी इज थ्री and since we are operating d cube on x square its derivative is going to be zero so we neglect to write that term similarly final term of this expansion will be b square in b square degree of d will be 4 so fourth order derivative of x square is also zero so we neglect to write that term here similarly from the remaining terms of this expansion we are going to get zero so we neglect to write them now we see here there are two terms of d square so let us take the lcm first lcm of the denominator is 121 so we multiply this numerator by 11 so we have minus 11 d square plus 36 d square that is 25 d square upon 121 now we multiply this x square inside to get 1 into x square x square minus 6 by 11 into derivative of x square that is 2x so 2 into 6 is 12x by 11 plus 25 by 121 into double derivative of x square that is 2 so we have 2 into 25 is equal to 50 upon 121 this is particular integral of the given differential equation let me show you one more example here the question is to find particular integral of d q plus 1 into y is equal to e raised to 2x into sin x so here particular integral will be given by 1 upon d q plus 1 of e raised to 2x into sin x to solve this we take out e raised to 2x and we replace every d in this f of d by d plus 2 so we get d plus 2 the whole cube plus 1 of sin x let's simplify this denominator first expanding d plus 2 the whole cube we get d cube plus 6d square plus 12d plus 8 plus 1 that is 9 of sin x now to solve this we have to replace every d square by minus a square here a is 1 we see there are two d squares involved in this expression one over here and one over here as we can write d cube as d into d square so finally after substituting d square is equal to minus 1 square that is minus 1 we get minus d minus 6 plus 12d plus 9 12d minus d is 11d and 9 minus 6 is 3 so we get 1 upon 11d plus 3 of sin x now to solve this part we will rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing this expression by 11d minus 3 so in numerator we will have 11d minus 3 and in denominator we will have 11d square that is 121d square minus 3 square that is 9 of sin x now we will replace this d square by minus a square so we get Minus one twenty one minus nine. That's minus one thirty into eleven d minus three of sin x. Now we operate eleven d on sin x, so we get eleven into derivative of sin x that is cos x minus three into sin x as it is. So this is particular integral of the given differential equation. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now it is your turn to solve the questions. Here are two DIY examples.
along with their answers. Please solve these examples and write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. Please share this video among your friends so they can also have the benefit. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.